never been this far into the catacombs. What a story this will make. They say that Sir Brenvale died at the hands of a ghost. The old Mad Duke. Ugh, gives me the shivers. I think that's the loot! Oh, and we've got it! Drake, let's get out of here. La! At last, someone has retrieved my gilded loot. Come, follow me. Away from this place, that ghastly mad spirit may return anon. I shall serenade you on your way. Oh, Sir Brenvale did enter these halls with a heart full of song. La, it did not take him long to hear the spirit's calls. Oh, he met the Mad Duke in combat. Oh, ho, and they danced with swords all night long. La, alas. Brenvale's skill was all for naught, and the quest went all wrong. Oh! And now, you know the end of the tale? Oh ho! This is where I bid you adieu. Sir Brenvale, the golden-voiced, the silver-tongued, once the head of the Order of the Albatross, at your service. Oh, gentlefolk. Of course they did, good chaps. And of course, I was one of the Order's most renowned composers. They no doubt wished to put my beautiful gilded lute in the place of honor. Ah, yes, I'm sure when I did not return, there were many a fair damsel who wept, inconsolable tears. After all, once you hear my voice raised in song, to know the voice of Sir Brenville the Golden was silenced. The tragedy. 
Of course, of course, I commend your efforts. Please, let the rest of the Order know that I, Sir Brenvale the Golden, shall now depart this plane at last. My next performance will be in the great theatres of Aetherius. Adieu. Farewell, farewell. Combs were musty as a, uh, as a crypt. Chests like that can be misleading, either full of jewels or full of rotted fish. Not quite how I imagined that would go. But we faced the Mad Duke, walked with the spirit of Sir Brenvale, and lived to tell the tale. I'm sure the Order will approve. Good, except for the make up a poem or sing a song about it part coming at the end of the tourney. That I'm less excited about. <laughs> Let's keep moving. They're martial warriors and excellent to horse. You might say the Iron Knot is the most traditional of the Sapphire Orders. Our trial will be to find the hilt from a lost sword called Red Heart. It was the blade of the first Duke Dufort. Somewhere on these lands, before they belonged to the Duforts, the hilt supposedly had a massive rough-cut ruby in it. Should be easy to spot. My last squire, Burjo, suggested we hit the castle library to get an idea of where to start looking. Go on, I'll catch up with you at the castle's library. It's easy to find. Big room, full of books. Can't miss it. Watch me go! Past, shall we? People left books open all over the place. How rude. Find anything promising? Let's chat. book was already open. I bet my old second Burjo offered the same advice he gave me to Aspirant Langley. Drake! Let's see... You're right! Looks like the Duforts had a holdfast there, before they became nobles. Oh wait! I know this place! It's an old ruin off to the east. Aurelia and I used to pretend it was a witch's lair when we were young.
Well, in my defense, I didn't know it was owned by the Duforts when we played there as kids. We also didn't go looking for knightly relics, which now I wish we had. There aren't really roads back there, but I remember a nice wide path we can take. I'll mark your map. Maybe if we hurry, we can beat Burjo and Langley to the ruin. I'll see you there. I'm hoping we can beat the other aspirants to the hilt. Each of the captains have their own view on how to earn honor. I've heard stories that the Iron Knot's captain, Orlfeth, has slain trolls twice her size. So just swinging a sword won't impress her. She wants warriors that can think as well as fight. That's a funny thought. I don't think so, but we can ask her. The hilt itself is classic Iron Knot, a historic trophy from a mighty warrior who fell in single combat at a crucial battle and changed history with his blade. Magister Irin never let me watch him do this. It's so interesting. Madame Valois, you're too late. I'm here first, you cannot pass through. Uh, I guess what he said. Sorry, Isabel. Hurry up, will you, lad? I'll need sustenance forthwith. Second, over here. You don't have much time Let's to talk. make me a meal. You and Isabel should just run along. Leave the tourney trials to aspirants of stature. Aspirants such as myself, of course. Are you going to lecture me, Langley Latart, about knightly behavior? I think not. 
I hold no grudge towards Isabel, but this is a competition, not a garden party. My second and I were here first. I would lose the advantage of having gotten here first. I see no reason to hinder my trial just because you think it would be nice of me to do so. Now, run along. I've work to do. Burjo, put some muscle behind that swing! Shove off, then. This road is mine. It's not worth a row with Langley over who can search the woods first. I'd best him easily, don't get me wrong. But blatant fighting between aspirants is frowned upon. Doesn't matter. I have an idea. Langley's first and last thoughts every day are about himself. He'll have Burjo working on moving those trees. Well, until he gets bored. So let's just go around. Remember, Aurelia and I used to play up by the ruin. There's a path around the rise to the east. Let's go carefully, though. We stopped playing up there when a Fawn warband moved in. Big Here it is, just like I remembered, by the curved tree. The ruin should be at the top of the rise. What's going on? This is it. The old stones, the locals call it. Let's find that hilt. Let's get out of here before Langley and Burjo arrive. Ah! Careful there, Squire! Don't let the branches snap back! You've scratched my armor! That hilt must be around here somewhere. 
Get to work. <laughs> I'm not sure it's chivalrous of me, but I hope that ours wastes the rest of the day looking for that hilt. We did it! Redheart's hilt! As a knight aspirant, I know I should wish all of my competitors equally good luck. But Stendar, forgive me. I hope Langley gets bitten by every mosquito out here. I am. I assumed the Iron Knot trial would be all about swordplay and martial skill. Maybe horse riding. Horses and I don't like each other much. Anyway, I'm actually quite pleased how we did. Let's move on. All that's left is to present the trophies. Everyone will be gathered at the tourney pavilion. I'm excited. And nervous. I get a bit... uncomfortable being the center of attention. Here, meet me on the jousting grounds. We'll head in together. We've done it! All three trophies! Meet me near the tourney pavilion and we'll present them together. And up we go! Yeah. What do you want?
me. Uh, I'd better go and take my place. I promised Mother I wouldn't embarrass her. I think my nerves are as settled as they're going to be. I get more anxious doing formal things like this than I do fighting werewolves. <sighs> Come on, Izzy. Deep breaths. We walk in, and the Tourney Herald announces us. I go forward and claim the trophies. As my second, you have the honor of displaying each of them as I call them out. Oh, and most important, don't start laughing when I recite a poem. It's tradition, Stendar help me. The Order of the Albatross requires it. Having you do this with me was more than helpful. You've been a calm and steady influence. A real partnership. Thank you. Let's just get through this last bit. Follow me. The sooner we start, the sooner it's over. Well? Lords and ladies, men and myrrh, a knight aspirant approaches the stage. Lady Isabel Valois. Let's get things started. Proceed, madam. Your second may present any trophies you have won. Together, we found the hilt of Blade Redheart, lost in a battle long ago. This we present to the Order of the Iron Knot. Well done, Aspirant Valois. To the Order of the Albatross, we present the Gilded Loot of Sir Brenvale. Wonderful. Now, perhaps we could hear a poem or ditty about the adventure, Aspirant. <clears throat> the loot of gold did gather mold, lost for many years. I cannot lie, Brenvale did die, tripping on a tomb. And finally, we present the Oaken the Order Oaken with the Order Staff of the Wild you, Woods. Aspirant. After solving the wizard Earl of Aspirant puzzle. Velwa, claiming all three trophies makes you the champion of the Sapphire Tourney. Come, you have earned a boon from your commander. From this day forward, you are a knight of High Isle. Be brave, courteous, loyal, and act with honor. Arise, Dame Isabel Velwa. Lord Commander, I know what my boon will be. You may know as well. Please release Aurelia from the promise you made. Allow her to make her own choice to marry or not, as she sees fit. I cannot deny such a selfless boon. Aurelia is free to make her own choices, within reason. Oh, thank the Eight. Dame Isabel, I am deeply impressed. I wish to speak with you and your second. Find me in my office at your convenience. I couldn't have done this without you. Let's see what the Commander has to say before I thank you myself.
You did well, Isabel. It seems as though your second was a great boon to you today. Second, step forward. I'd like to speak to you. I've known Isabel, Dame Isabel, for many years. It was encouraging to see her push herself like this. I believe your able assistance may have also played a part? Well, I believe a knight should not be measured by the worth of their weapon, but by the allies they keep. The Knights of High Isle pride ourselves on our courtesy, and I personally always wish to honor good people. For acting as Dame Isabel's second during this year's Sapphire Tourney, I want to formally extend my thanks, as both Knight Commander and as a mother. What a day! I suppose that just shows what determination can get you. When the tourney began, Aurelia was in the depths of despair. I was... well... I was struggling. And now look at us. <laughs> Thank you. Take the credit you're due. You kept me focused, gave me a sounding board. And most importantly, I knew whatever happened, I wasn't alone. I can't tell you what that meant to me. I still can't get used to it. Dame Isabelle Valois. I dreamed about wearing shining armor, riding a valiant steed. So far it's been crypts, creatures, and a lot of running around. <laughs> I've loved every moment. Except maybe the poetry part. I've been thinking. I have a place here on High Isle. But I think I want to expand my horizons. I would like to see more, do more, learn more. If you could use a strong and loyal knight of High Isle in your travels, I'm up for anything. If you'll excuse me, I have to get my things. I want to get ready for adventure. I think things have turned out just the way they should have. Just be ready to see Isabel less often, dear. A page has turned on our little story. So Isabel will leave High Isle and learn about the wider world. It truly is a brand new day. I'm glad she'll have someone capable like you by her side. She's like a second daughter to me. <laughs> Not that you heard me say that. I... I hesitate to say. If I tell you, do you swear on your honor that you will share this with no one? Particularly not Isabel or Aurelia. When Aurelia was very young, her father passed away. She barely remembers him, dear man that he was. I spoke to a druid, an old woman in the woods, and asked for her blessing so that Aurelia would have a good, easy life. The witch in the wood made me promise that Aurelia would win favor as a knight, or win a knight's favor by the time she reached my age. As you can tell, Aurelia is hardly knightly material, and that deadline is quickly approaching. I did, and thank the divines she won the favor of a knight. I saw the witch at Isabel's knighting ceremony, and she gave me a sly wink. Our bargain is met, and my daughter is safe. Thanks to you, Second, and Dame Valois. Stendar protect us. Let's get out there. How can I help? 